So in the past couple hours, a trade went down in the NFL. And the second I saw this trade, I initially thought it was involving the Packers for like a, a millisecond because it said Devontae Parker trade to the Pat Patriots. I thought it said Packers for like a split second. And honestly, I was pretty excited when I thought it said Packers for a very short period of time because we all know the Packers need to, to get a wide receiver in here. And so now I want to discuss... You know, should the Packers have traded for Devontae Parker? Obviously, it's not going to happen now. He was just traded to the Patriots. But to see what he was traded for, it makes me intrigued. It's like, okay, could the Packers have made a move here? And then it also makes you wonder, if they didn't make a move here, do they have anything else up their sleeve? So it came out here from Adam Schefter saying, trade terms per source. Patriots get wide receiver Devontae Parker and a 2022 fifth-round pick. Dolphins get a 2023 third-round pick. So I honestly think that's a pretty good trade for the Patriots. Um, they lose their fifth-round pick, or they get a fifth-round pick. They lose their third round pick, so the, the Dolphins basically just move up a couple rounds in the draft and get rid of Devontae Parker. And the Patriots are only going to have to pay Parker two remaining years on his contract, 5.7 mil in 2022 and 5.7 mil in 2023. So if I'm the Patriots, honestly, I'm excited to be able to give Mac Jones a weapon like Devontae Parker and only paying him $5.5 million in 2022. Um, I think that's a really good move for the um, Patriots. And if you're the Dolphins, it makes sense. You already traded for Tyree Kill. You have Jalen Waddle, Cedric Wilson you signed. You have tight end Mike Isecki. So they have lots of weapons there. And so if we take a look at Devontae Parker, he has struggled with injuries the past couple seasons. That is one worry um, for him. Last year, he only played in 10 games, 73, um, 40 receptions, 515 yards, and two touchdowns. And if you look at his history here, being in Miami since 2015 when he was drafted there in the first round, he has dealt with some injuries over time, um, especially the past couple seasons. His one probably biggest year was 2019, um, where he had, let's see, 72 receptions, 1,200 yards, and nine touchdowns. So the question is, I think, can he stay healthy? And that's probably the, the Patriots probably made that trade, knowing that there's a chance he gets injured once again. I think he's dealt with a lot of hamstring injuries. And so there is some risk here with it, but I think it's a good risk for the Patriots to take. And if I were the Packers, I wouldn't have been opposed. Like, if this trade come out, came out and it was the Packers instead, I'll be very excited because I think Devontae Parker is still a great wide receiver. He was playing there in Miami with Tua, and uh, there's no question, you know, if he came to Green Bay, Aaron Rodgers is a, uh, let's just say he's a, he's a pretty big upgrade uh, from Tua. So there's no question in my mind if he were to be able to stay healthy, being on the Packers roster, um, being able to be that outside threat, I think that that would have been an insanely great move for the Packers um, to make. And so if I'm a Patriots fan, I'm excited right now to have um, Devontae Parker on the roster. And if you're a Dolphins fan, you already have so many other weapons. I don't think you're too worried. You get another you get another draft pick coming into 2023. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, if Devontae Parker is able to stay healthy. But just seeing, you know, the trade happen for, I'd say, you know, this value sort of moving from, I mean, sort of a third round pick for Devontae Parker, but they also got a fifth round pick in return. So maybe more like a fourth overall, something like that. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit like, I, I think the, pa the Packers are going to be able to make a move. I just saw a quote from Mark Murphy that was basically saying, with, let me find the exact quote so I don't completely botch it here. I saw it on Instagram, and this is what he said. So this is from uh, Lambo Leapers, which is a cool uh, Instagram account on uh, on Instagram, obviously, um, about the Packers. So this is what Mark Murphy said. With four picks in the first two rounds, we have the draft capital to either trade for a veteran receiver or draft a top quality receiver. I'm confident that our wide receiver room will look very different in September than it does now. So this makes me wonder, who are the Packers potentially? Like, who do they have their eyes on? You know, Were they maybe in discussions? You know, were the Dolphins like, hey, Packers, you want to give us a little bit more for Devontae Parker? Um, clearly, the Packers didn't want to do that. So maybe they have, I mean, I assume they have some kind of plan. Um, I'm wondering, I mean, I, I've said before, I would love the Packers to be able to trade for DK Metcalf from the Seattle Seahawks. I think that would be a great move. And I wouldn't be opposed to trading a first round pick for DK Metcalf. You get a 24 year old who you're going to have to pay him soon because he is in his final year of his rookie contract. I think that would be a great move. And that's a move I want to see, you know, the most from the Packers because. Now, if we take a look at the free agent wide receivers available, as you can see here, there are some, I'd say, concerns with these guys. You know, Julio, I think he can still be a beast. He does have injury worries, and I, would, I wouldn't be opposed to see the Packers sign him. There is a risk of injury, though. Jarvis Landry, 29, I think he would be a great signing. Will Fuller has dealt with lots of injuries. T.Y. Hilton, getting up there in age, dealt with injuries. Emmanuel Sanders, a little bit old. A.J. Green, a little bit old. So, there's not like any crazy, oh, I say Odell Beckham. If he can be healthy in the next, you know, coming into, I don't know, September, October, November, whenever his injury heals, I would love that move for the Packers to be able to get Odell Beckham. That would be that would be great. But there's lots of question marks for these current free agent wide receivers. So it does make me wonder, especially too with Mark Murphy saying like, we're either going to draft a great guy or maybe trade. Like, I think there's a high potential the Packers trade for someone. I'm just wondering who it would be. I would love to see DK Metcalf here, but who knows? But seeing Devontae Parker traded for that, 
I, I think the Packers are going to be able to get something done um, to get some kind of you know veteran wide receiver here. So I'm not too worried, as I've said, with the Packers wide receiver situation. But it was interesting to see you know another trade for a wide receiver go down. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you wish the Packers would have been the team to make this trade? Let me know. If you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe down below for more Packers content. But thank you guys so much for watching, as always. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.